hello guys how you doing uh okay i hope you enjoyed yesterday's class which was all about how to change your pictures background you can use it for product pictures you can use it for your personal pictures and you can also use it for logos you know it can be used for how to tr create a transparent version of your logo and apply it to pictures if you are still if you don't have a video or you don't know how to place your logo on your product pictures and videos transparent logo you know you can't use the normal logo you have to make it transparent and if your graphics designer didn't give you the transparent version you don't need to worry you can use the same method i thought yesterday to get the transparent version of your logo and use it and if you're looking for a video on how to place your transparent version on your pictures and videos just send a message to me i'm going to send the video to you because i created a video a long time ago so i'll send it to you so now let's go forward today we'll be talking about how to create an online store for your business and the sweet thing about this is about this is this a lot of people underrate this be like why do i need a why do i need a website see eh this period that we have you have to be smart in making money there's difference between hard work and smart work imagine sleeping and waking up to see orders placed on your website they don't need to ask you too many questions they already place imagine running ads and sending them to your store to just place the order and make payments imagine that you know it, it, it's free and it's not only for nigeria you can receive People all over the world can do that. Unlike the, if you're sending your bank account, not everyone all over the world can pay to your bank account. So you need to pay attention to this. It's very, very interesting. So, and the website we'll be using is Flutterwave. Flutterwave has been able to give us this. Flutterwave just launched this anyway. I think they launched it three days ago or so to open a shop for free you don't need to pay anything. And I love this. So you don't need to invest any money, just your time to set up your shop. So, uh, I'll be sending you the link after this video. So you click on the link. Immediately you click on the link. It automatically brings you to this place. You create an account. Once you create an account, it will give you access to your dashboard. This is my own dashboard. Once you have access to the dashboard, you click on these three lines here. You have this. This is my own merchant ID. Now you have this. You have home. You have view. Overview. You have transactions and everything like that. Now for... This is what I use to create links for where people can pay. For payment links, maybe you want to organize a webinar or a training. You can just create the link for them to pay to. Now for the store, we are looking at the store. So you click on store. When you click on store, let's just wait for it to load. Now, I purposely haven't set up the store because I want to do this video. So you click on set up my store. Now, the name of my store, I want the name of my store to be Olubi. Then you write the description there. Uh, whatever your, you can just copy and paste your bio. It's fine. So let me just put uh, Olubi Digital Store. Well, I want to use it for my Olubi Digital Store. I'm going to create another one for my Olubi Store. So now, uh, this is your store URL that you'll be putting on your web on um adverts and on uh your instagram profile and anywhere you want people to go to your store next thing is you click on click to add image you can add your um logo or any kind of thing so i want to add my logo so let you click on my device you wait for it to load. You click on files it's gonna be different for different phones but just follow the process it leads immediately you click on upload picture so the next thing is i want to pick a photo i already saved my logo so this is it here and uh, this is the one i want to use so i click on it i'm just waiting for it to load okay uh okay that's taking back imagine okay so where's the logo Okay, this is the logo I want to use. Now, this is fantastic. You can either decide to crop it. So, I want to crop it. I want to crop the logo. I want to crop the logo. Okay, now I prefer I like this already. So, yeah, this is fantastic. Save. So, now uh, upload. So, this is it. Has uploaded my store image then the category you put the category your store belongs to oh for me i'm just going to say professional services because i said it's for my olubi digital page then the next thing is 
click on complete store has been successfully created so this is the link of my store so you can edit and add shipping fee and everything you can do anything you want to do so now how do you do it? just simple just click on add products then you can put product name put the product price put the product description everything you want to say about the product all the features so that they won't need to start sending you a dm all the features just put it in product product description then the product image put the image you want to the image of the product then if you want to put a kilogram you put it there if you want to add the amount of items in stock you add it there so immediately you add it okay let's just do this one i want us to, i want to take us to the next one so let me just say um free whatsapp class i'm going to delete it anyway i just want to use it yeah i'll create my own products later so let me just say uh one thousand okay description let me just say good it's not supposed to be good though you describe what your product is about there the product you are putting then image and stuff like that then let me just say i'm going to put the amount of stock let me just say four just to make it then the weight what's the weight let me just say one kg so i click on add product i just want you to see how it looks so this is your product that you are putting now whenever they click on it so okay to be sure this is the link Whenever they click on it, I want to show us how it will display. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. This is how it's going to display. They can place their order, send it to their cart, and pay for it. Immediately they paid for it, it will automatically reflect in your Flutterwave account, which you can now transfer, which they will transfer for you, or you can manually transfer it to your bank account, anyone you prefer. So immediately they pay, it automatically notifies this person has paid, and uh, so uh back to our store after you've seen the way it looks on um the customer's page you can see that there's no shipping fee there and i talked about how you can add it so if you want to add shipping fee you have to customize the shipping fee so that it will be added so let's just see it now click on more actions then click on shipping then you had shipping fee you can put different region for ibadan for abekuta for songo different places put it there the reason I'm telling you to put it there is this. When you put it there and it has saved, you can say I saved Lagos and Ibadan. When you put it there and it has saved, now let's go to, let me copy the link again. Let's say the customer has decided to pick um this on their, okay, let me just like so that we don't get confused. Let me just take it back. This is our store link. Copy. So now let's say for instance, my customer already clicked on my link okay so uh once they click on our link this is how it's going to display uh remember i only added just one class so and i didn't put a picture if i put a picture it's going to show it's going to have a picture there so they'll be sent like a normal catalog so let's just continue they decide okay i want to pay for this then they click on it they order how many pieces they want you can see see your cart okay it's time to place the order from your store so they click on see your see your cart and next one is pay the money so they fill in their details let me just fill in a temporary detail so that we can see how it looks you can see how useful it is uh, let me just click on then when they click on region it automatically shows the delivery free for their location so that they can pay it along with their this their fees so let's just say okay uh their region is a down to pick it button that's why you, when you are filling that shipping fee that i talked about you need to fill all possible locations all possible locations in nigeria at least in nigeria then if it's for another place it's different all possible locations in nigeria then next one is you put the delivery address uh then they fill in the country the states the city and states then they pay you can see that this delivery fee automatically was added here you can see so maybe in your product description when you want to put delivery fee you said you, in your product description now where we where you put a uh, description of your product you can decide okay uh you can also decide to indicate the delivery fees that are the delivery areas that you are delivering to for now because that is where we'll be in the shipping that that is where we reflect in the shipping fee so for instance if if um 
you didn't put shipping fee for london but if you're shipping to london you can also add shipping fee for london so when you're picking their region or area they will just pick the option london and they'll pay for it along i hope you find this useful i'll be sending the link in